Well, you probably don't think of your personal security as a game. It's a serious thing. Yeah, but Iowa State University researchers are turning to game theory and looking at a major power grid hack in Ukraine where millions lost power as inspiration. Local 5's Jacob Peklo has the details from Ames. You might not expect to have your national security addressed at a university level, but here at Iowa State University, this team of research has been working tirelessly for close to a decade now to ensure that something like this doesn't happen to you. Our general goal is to defend the, uh, the grid, but in order to enhance our security measures, we also need to have some good attackers that can role play. For this group of dedicated researchers, protecting our nation's power grid is a priority. We understand how, what kind of complex technology and tools are used on those attacks and how to prepare the U.S. grid against such an attack. Like many teams, they turn to video to see how Ukraine's power grid was compromised twice to learn where those breakdowns occur. It is possible, uh, but uh, how likely? Uh, that's where we use uh, various uh, mathematical tools like game theory to assess the risk to U.S. grid infrastructure. They're now developing tools to create new software and hardware to counter these attacks. It's kind of a mathematical framework that takes into account the strategies of the attacker, defender, and tells us what should be the optimal response. They also know they're up against automated attacks. And these are the indicators for the release whenever we test or deploy cyber attacks. So they play out hundreds of scenarios using scientific method all along the way. Here we have a cyber grid, we have a couple of uh, servers. It's especially tough because they know there will likely never be a final product. It is not an end, it is a journey. Definitely we are making strides, we are making a lot of progress in that journey, but it will be ongoing. And here at Iowa State University, the team is hoping that this project continues for the next several years, thanks to a grant from the National Science Foundation and the Department of Energy. Reporting in Ames, Jacob Peckelow, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. And the project leaders are also working with the Department of Homeland Security and the Energy Group on the campus there at Iowa State.